Still on news on the hour, hundreds of retirees in Ikiti State have rejected a proposal from the state government on the non-payment of their accumulated outstanding gratuities by the state government. The retirees under the banner of the Nigerian Union of Pensioners came to the State Secretariat of the Union to register their grouse on certain policies of the state government. Pensioners in the state said government announced that those who retired in the state from 2012 to 2014 should report at the pensions office with their original pensions letters and other relevant documents. The government has let us down and it has made the union to be at the mercy of uh, concerned pensioners. The concerned pensioners at their meeting which was held at the uh, state uh, pension state secretary this afternoon, they have totally rejected the offer and they are calling for fresh negotiation. Only for the government to print out uh, 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 a form telling us that uh, you either agree on 20 to 25 percent, and that even with this 20 percent, you cannot receive anything until January 20, I mean, February 20. 21. It's unfair. Where in the world have you ever heard that, that uh, people, uh, that people's uh, gratuity are on ratio? Where? Where? On All I know is that if you are, if, if, if you are collecting your own by February uh, next year, you can't, you can't exceed the 15%. It cannot. I can show you that. It cannot exceed the 15%. I think that is the position of government. And that has been a decision of the governor with the executive council. Joining us live is Ayo Kumakbayi, the chairman, Nigerian Union of Pensioners, AKT State. Thank you for joining us. Hello. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Good day. Can you hear us, sir? Yeah. All right, brilliant. Um, I, I want to ask, the, the explanation from the state government, do you not think it is satisfactory in any way um, that it is the bank contacted that is working on the 25% deduction? Uh, the, the, can I, can I come? Kindly Hello? go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, the issue of uh, payment by financial institution was being introduced by the state government to clear the areas of uh, areas of opportunities uh, for pensioners, which has shown to about 13, 13 billion plus. We are going to Mr. Governor, and we is all agree that presently has been given us 100 million per month. But it's not according to the uh, effect of COVID 19. The government will not be able to, to sustain the budget in a hundred million document. So it's a good side this uh, payment by financial institutions at a discount rate of 50%. So we went into negotiation with the, uh, with the government. And as with a problem, we pleaded that the amount should be reduced. He promised that we could do something about it. But when we put up this idea, it was done to COVID pandemic. Immediately after we received the issue of the lockdown. But we are still number with the fact that we cannot do it for more than 20. That was why we had the checklist of our members year by year who are being good uh, gratuity from year 2012 to year 2016. They formed the team that uh, were responding to government funds. We floated at the premium pool, both online and normally, and we discovered that 90 25% of, of our members, those are the members, they are doing a very distant rate. The two things for Mr. Governor, as the government point that they say that the 15 percent should be, should be reduced. But a particular came out just uh, uh, yesterday, 
that uh, you come and uh, that members will come and collect like for example members will come and collect uh, forms, and we now have a document that this policy has been written for the time. The government was uh, discussing a hundred uh, million naira per month to set school areas of the city, which was around uh, I think for twenty billion. And the government uh, realized that if you are going on that, it will take almost 20 years to settle uh, the whole prospect due to pensioners in the state. So it would be nice to me, he proposed this as an appointment by five financial institutions. And we decision to split at 50% this time. But it was surprised. When uh, uh, members are called out to and approve forms, and they approve this form, and the fact of this now found out that some days have been, have been uh, increased to 25%. This is just going on with us. All right. Oh, that hold why on. We Kindly say, hold on, sir. We reject the 25%. Okay. Do you and think it would be better? Mr. Kumakwa, kindly hold on. I, I want to know if you think it would be better if you and your members get your accumulated gratuities um, yes. since apparently your members are getting very old. So do you think yes. it would be better if you get your accumulated gratuities? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, uh, it's only that. I want to add that uh, this, this EU is voluntary. They didn't make it compulsory. It's voluntary. And uh, our members have been approaching, approaching us. The union believes that the age of consent in this country is around 19, 19 years. And if you have uh, people above the age of 60, they should be able to decide for themselves what they, what they want. We ask them, we, we conducted an opinion poll, normally and, uh, online, and we discovered that about 92.5 of them they agree. In principle, but at very uh, degree of uh, discount. So we took this to uh, this government. In principle, we agree to the idea, but that we would want to, I mean, the union would want the discussion rate to be reduced to 15 uh, percent. But what we have is that uh, we now had a document carrying 25 percent. So we believe that uh, it is uh, uh, a setback. With negotiation. That's why we think the if we have the fresh uh, renewed uh, negotiation to discuss about the about the yes. All right. So, so what exactly? And we have to apologize for the poor quality of uh, the audio. Um, what exactly, um, Mr. Kumakbai, would you say yes. are your demands uh, from the government as it stands? Your immediate demands. Well, our immediate demands is that we uh, do. Go back to the to 15 percent or less, and that uh, the time the time limit we do, we said we should submit our form before, before five days. We said they should do more time to report back to us. Incidentally, we met with uh, the head of service and uh, the Minister of Finance just about an hour ago, and uh, they assured us that uh, uh, the, the percentage distance rate must now remain. At what we are negotiating before 50%. We are to hold the meeting with them next week to Ayo and have the same problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ayo Kumakpai, the chairman, Nigerian Union of Pensioners, Azekiti State. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.